Hey everyone, this is the Lego Dreams Mrs. Castillo's Turtle Van set. It has 434 pieces and I paid $48 US for it. I built this live over on my Twitch channel, but I'm going to be changing the build to two other options. This is one of the Dreams sets that gives you two alternates, not just one, for how to put it all together. In this form, it is a walker. It has sprouted legs and a head here. This is a printed piece on top, and you can see how that's built up using one of the large action figure uh, uh, shoulder shell pieces, the more recent design. Unfortunately, the joint that's used inside of this is not strong enough, and oftentimes I find this just falling down on its own. There's almost no friction in there compared to, yeah, there it goes on its own. Uh, really good print though. It's supposed to be a situation where, you know, it's it's trying to chase after the, the carrot, but unfortunately the stick isn't quite long enough there, I would say. This is a print on the front for the hourglass design. Uh, most of the other designs that you're gonna see are gonna be stickers and I'll call out the ones that are indeed prints. The legs, unfortunately, are not able to articulate here. You can, you can repose them yourself at 90 degree angles uh, at each of the joints, but that's the limit of it. So you're not able to really put this into a, a walk, you know, like do a walking, you know, thing with it here. You just have to kind of pick it up and do this. You're not able to, to individually move the legs to make it seem a little bit more alive. Got a weapon rack over here, which can be folded up. Although here in this form, you'd probably want to just flip it around. Like you can bring it off the ground, but ideally you want to flip it around to be able to, to flip it up when you're in transit. You can bring down the awning here, but also when things are open, and I'll show you more of this in another of the transformations here. It's nice to get the, uh, uh, the bright spring green colored, not, not uh, glow in the dark colored uh, fish and the doors here. I personally hadn't seen the doors like that before, but yeah, this opens up nicely. Uh, that's a sticker right there. These are stickers. That's a sticker up top. I guess while we're looking up here, we might as well look at the mascot that's able to spin around. It's like a, a cactus, cactus. I don't think I saw them make a deal of that, but it's it's a cat and it's a cactus, so it's a cactus. It looks pretty good though. And that is a print there for the head. Really nice little small palm tree. I really like this design. I hope to see this design used more and more. And this is on a, a ball joint. I accidentally just knocked it off right there, but it's on a ball joint, so you can kind of shift it up to, off to the side and rotate it around, get it to the angle that you want to see. It's 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 really good. And uh, I've already seen them use that a few times. We'll probably do it more. In there is a crystal. Don't call it kryptonite, unless you want to. I mean, this theme is supposed to be all about imagination. Uh, that is a sticker right there. Nice design though, with the coral color. And this is the rear. <laughs> this easily could be the front of the van, couldn't it? By the the way that it looks. And then over here, you've just got the uh, the stove pipe that is spewing out some massive amounts of fire because there's a lot of very hot cooking going on inside. Notice the use of the Speed Champions. Uh, curled under sand green colored fender pieces there. And you can see that there are tires on the inside. This is a sticker here as well. And let me get inside. As you would expect, the whole roof comes up and inside you've got some magical items with the mushroom on the right, the, uh, the potion with the just regular blue color, trans blue color for the base of it on the left. And in the center is a brand new color for that classic crystal piece. It's not, I guess it's not that old. Was it, was it mostly associated with power miners, I want to say, but notice this one is the transparent purple, but coralescent, pearlescent, or iridescent with the light blue metallic style flick in it, which is absolutely beautiful. I hope that they will use all of those multi-hue uh, blends, you know, all, all those different resin blends with this particular mold because it looks really good. And then the rest of this, you know, it's, you got the checkerboard pattern in there with alternating spots for uh, tiles and studs so you can rotate figures around. You got plenty of space to put figures in there to transport them, to have them standing. And uh, you can have two of them sitting in the front, one in the driver's seat, one in the passenger seat. But otherwise, nothing else is going on here except you've got some, uh, some planning going on, building some weapons on the wall. The most obvious transformation of this is just going to be to take the major stuff off of it, the weird stuff off of it, and convert it into just a regular, like a food food truck. So just pop all this stuff off, all the extra stuff, and there it is. 
you have a perfectly viable, just regular civilian converted, not VW camper van being used as a food truck. You can use it around town. I got the eight stud width, which has been used by Creator before, I believe, for something similar to this. And it's cool. I like it a lot. It is, it is large. It's a little bit more like a Speed Champions style or size than typical city stuff, you know, unlicensed Lego vehicles that are minifig compatible, but I think it's all good. And the amount of space on the inside definitely makes it worth it. Bring these down and yeah, it can fit in a, a decently compact space for how big it really is, especially on the inside. This final build option turns the turtle van into a sea turtle van well and truly as a submarine. So this is intended to be under the water now, although it can probably still fly as well, but you see the legs are facing back. It's now actually on its tire. So it's still able to drive around for us huge figures that are playing around with it. Got the periscope here, which can be brought up and then rotated around. The carrot has been swapped out for a chili pepper that's built up that's very convincing. Forgot to mention this hair piece slash flower stem piece is being used for the stock there, a little bit of greenery, which is nice and much, much more compact than what they used to use for those things. Nothing different is going on here, although with this being down by the ground now, it's not able to fall out of its own way. And then a, a fin has been added onto the back here for some, some stability. And the, the exhaust has been moved fully to the back. So it's like rocket powered underneath the, the water. And that now fits Nicely, I think there's there's a nice movement here, visually. I think it all fits together with the way that the 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 legs are angled and everything. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty nice and, and convincing enough. And again, having it actually be on its tires is good. Although if you're on carpet or something, this is just going to scrape every time it falls down. And then this is just a little bit of land now. So you know, same thing. Whoop, focus. Yeah, there we go. The same thing with the. The, you know, just some of the accoutrement that was on the roof previously, but now it just represents a little tiny, tiny, tiny little island. And finally, the cactus has been turned into something that can fly around. So this can be your scout. This is your, your above water scout. It's powered by some sort of magical boost energy and it has a backpack on that's very similar to, uh, eerily similar to what uh, Mrs. Castillo goes around in and just a slightly different color there, but it's got that, that kind of bulk to it. And there are a couple of studs here, which can be used for a figure to attach and be flying around with this. On the subject of figures, there's Mrs. Castillo herself on the left with the really interesting mold that is dual molded. So the light aqua and the brown is all together as one piece, not removable. There's, there are four studs on the back of it. So you can see some pieces that are used to build up the shape of the backpack. And then they've got the, uh, where did they first introduced these arms? I think it was in Nexo Knights series. It was, it was the first year, right? They think they used those. So just in the regular yellow color, they've been used for some minions as well. And then she's got her staff with the, uh, the hourglass on it. Speaking of sta staffs, staves, <laughs> the pencil version for Mateo there and then Zoe on the right with some really nice armor set up because, I mean, that's gunmetal gray there. You know, just her full like rogue outfit, I think is pretty nice. I guess not really armor, but you know, her, her full battle garb is is cool. And there is a print on the top that's just common to all of the, the sets for this series. And the purple color for the bow is nice. The hair piece is nice. It has a lot of texture to it. And all of these figures have alternate faces, which is definitely a plus and something that I would personally like to see more consistently, even in the non, well, especially in the non-licensed stuff where sometimes we just don't get those. The print for Mateo all the way through here, I think is really good and getting the dual molded legs is nice, but especially the print on the front of the legs there is good. And then here on the left is a micro fig sized version of Z blob. This is a separate piece here. And that's an actual uh, full usable interchangeable headpiece there with the print of just the eyes on it. That's pretty nice. And this can go either way. And then underneath here, you also get that print for the face. Nothing for the back though. Unfortunately, I mixed up the actual spare pieces with the parts that are extra for building the alternate versions. So I can't show you those, but you can see what the sticker sheet looks like, including all of these extras here that are just purely optional. 
Again, the price for this 434 piece set was $48. It's 48 euros, 43 pounds UK, $60 Canadian, which is approximately 45 US itself. I personally would like to see this at 40 for zero, and I could easily see them asking 45. So we're definitely within the range. So I think value is not a major issue here, especially with this number of figures, even though a couple of them are small, but with the number of prints and everything, the total volume of stuff, the fun value here is really good. The, the build is good. This has great usable space inside to put a bunch of minifigures, you know, which, which really adds a bunch of value, being able to actually just carry folks around and, you know, make up your own adventure, but then use this properly as a transport for your peoples. That's that's really good. Or of course, you can always toss cargo in there. So overall, there's a lot of good here. The worst thing about it, the, the worst two things about it, both have to do with the the major gimmick of it, which is the the turtle, right? The big turtle transformation and the, and the turtle parts that come out of it. Uh, the fact that the head just droops on its own is not good. And the fact that the legs are not able to be easily walked around is kind of kind of weird to me. Again, you can pose it yourself in, individually, but yeah, you know, those are relatively small things uh, that don't really detract from the, the overall value of this set. So just generally, I think this is nicely done. It has some nice parts in it, some nice prints. And, you know, if you're looking to do semi-realistic stuff, just leave off a handful of pieces. You're not losing a lot in this set. You're not losing a lot to the turtle specific stuff. There's not a ton of, of, uh, of stuff left over uh, when you convert it just into the regular food truck form. So again, there, good decisions were made. Uh, I think decisions that are generally fairly customer consumer friendly that will make this more appealing to more people. So those are my thoughts. Mostly good. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon.